For anyone coming to this with preconceived notions, buckle up and get ready. The case was so salacious, and it was the headlines, and it was what everyone was talking about, that it was very fortunate for Candy that she had a lawyer like Don who wasn't afraid to stand up and punch back. A 30-year-old school teacher was murdered. Oh, With a trial generating national attention, Judge Tom Ryan moved the case to Collin County's old courthouse, ensuring there were enough seats for curious onlookers. I can do this. After months of preparation, Candy Montgomery's legal team was ready for an uphill battle. The jury who will hear the case was chosen late this afternoon. The rapid selection came as a surprise to those close to the case, but Judge Tom Ryan moved the proceedings quickly. Knowing the court of public opinion would play a large role in their success, Don Crowder insisted that Candy change her appearance. On the morning of October 20th, 1980, just after the chamber doors closed, Don caused a ruckus in the courtroom. We've got quite a story to tell. Candace Montgomery killed Betty Gore, and she did so in self-defense. Montgomery's lawyers made the shocking admission that they contend their client killed Wiley school teacher Betty Gore, but only to protect herself. Once word of Candy's self-defense plea got out, it was the talk of the town and the nation. Everybody wanted a front row seat. What are you doing at the trial? I wanted to see for myself uh, about this, because she's my neighbor. I have seen rape and murder. This is the first axe murder I've seen. I would just put it that way. I finally found something more interesting than General Hospital. Prosecutor Tom O'Connell asked for every shocking detail in his witnesses' testimonies. The bloody details and descriptions of the murder came forth today in Judge Tom Ryan's courtroom. Neighbors testified about the gruesome discovery of Betty Gore's mutilated body in her home. As the prosecution rested its case, it was time for the defense's star witness to take the stand. Mr. Crowder, you may call your first witness. <laughs> 